Welcome, my name is Jarek Kendra. I am the program coordinator for financial mathematics. This uh, program is split 50-50 between the business school and mathematics. So this means that there are four courses provided by the business school when they uh, try to present a more practical side of financial mathematics, so four courses for the business school. And also there are four courses uh, provided by us, the maths department, where we try to, to tell you what's really inside the bonnet of this financial mathematics program and how, what kind of mathematics is used there and, and why it fails. So I would like to present an example with a question and give you a little bit of a taste of how our lectures look, or more precisely how my lectures will look like in this, in this program. So the basic question we try to answer or we try to build mathematical models for is the following. Suppose we have a share of stock. Now, this share is now worth some money. We know what it's worth, but we would like to know its future price. at the future it's big unknown nobody knows it and we will try to build mathematical models which will not answer this question but we will which will try to to provide a theory for answering different questions and I tell you what these questions are so Imagine that this is axis of numbers, there is zero, and what I denote by S now is the price of our share. And then in the future, the future might be in one week, in one month, in one year. We have a similar situation, but we don't really know the price. So what can happen between now and future? Well, the prices can go up, down, up, up, down, down. Something very strange might happen, and the price ended up here. So if you see, if you look at this graph, well, in the future, the price went up. We got richer. Another scenario is that the price go up, up, down, down, down something happens and the price ends up here, we are poorer. So we consider all possible scenarios which can happen. So uh, let me draw a few examples. And this example show that the price of a share of stock is, is random. We don't really know what is happening in, in the future, so let me draw another example. Okay, so anything can happen. So now, if you look at this, at this drawing, well, the price started here. We don't really know what is happening in between. It ended up there. Okay, the price grew. Here the price grew. Here it grew, and here it decreased. Then we would like to consider all such possible scenarios. And then what we record is the, the future price of our share of stock. And sometimes for different scenarios, the price can end up the same. So we record all of those and we see it as a distribution. Okay, so if I recall all the final prices, some of them will happen more frequently, some of them very rarely. And let me try to draw another picture for you. So keep in mind this kind of graph, which you probably saw in newspapers, on TV. 
But what is really interesting from the mathematical point of view is that, of course, this is zero, so the prices should never go below zero. And we record this distribution as a, as a graph. And it more or less will look like this. So what this graph, what, what this graph is telling us, well, it tells us that somewhere in this region, if you look at that region, then this looks like the prices falling into that region are the most probable. Okay, so to check the probability, we look, so for, first of all, we ask the question, what is the probability that the price will fall between these two values? Well, from this graph, it says the probability will be the, the area of this shaded region. Then you might be interested, suppose you want to get very rich very quickly, then you are interested uh, about your share of stock growing very sharply. Then what's the probability of your share of stock to have a price in this region? Well, the area of this pink shaded region, which is very small. And then this, of course, creates a mathematical model. So, so this is a distribution. And the mathematical model is within the framework of probability theory. So a big part of this course is about probability theory. I assume that some of you, or all of you, already had basic probability course. But in, in this program, we'll go much further. We'll uh, present uh, quite advanced probability techniques for, for financial mathematics. So the theory we're building is within probability theory. And the most difficult part for making a very good model for finance is, is the choice of that distribution. So if you look at the past prices and if you analyze all past behavior of the market, then you can, of course, approximate such a, such a distribution. But essentially, it's very hard to get it right. So at this point, when building a model, we're making a choice. We are guessing what's the right distribution. And so the most difficult part is to make a right choice. Then there are several topics within the course. One of them is to present the standard theory which uh, produces so-called Black-Scholes model. So Black-Scholes model is a model for option pricing, which is more or less, the question is similar to what I presented. So, and this is a standard model uh, which is taught in every financial mathematics course, so we will also present it here. Although in my course, I will try to go very deep. So I will try to present all the mathematics needed for that model to reasonable depth. So black shows. And the choice which is made in this model is so-called log normal distribution. So it's a choice. And uh, one of the main flaws of this choice is that with, within this model is very hard to predict and to deal with, uh, with rare events. So some like a financial crash. So this model is very bad if it comes to rare events like financial crashes. In our course, I will try to present examples where showing why this model fails although it's widely used, and sometimes it's, it is used as a benchmark. But in principle, it is incorrect. So, and it fails when it comes to rare events. 
So nowadays, people are trying to build models when the log normal distribution, which is used for Black Scholes, is replaced by something which allows better predictions or better, better understanding of, of rare events, like sudden market crashing or something like that. So this is kind of a, in a nutshell, what this course is all about. But a large part of the course is uh, mathematics, mostly probability theory. We will also discuss the risk analysis for uh, in finance, for which is uh, for which we use the linear algebra, and more or less my lectures. I'm only one of the many lectures in this program. My, my lectures will look more or less like this. I will draw things on the blackboard. I will stop and explain whenever you're confused. I will do slowly when necessary. I will try to be very detailed and very clear. So I hope you liked it, and I hope to see you very soon in Aberdeen. Thank you.